Okay guys, let's talk about the purpose of factorization again. On the previous, I mentioned about easy factorize. And again, I have to repeat that the purpose of factorize is to make sure that the originally plus minus question, you have to convert into the bracket, where bracket means times divide. So once a plus minus becomes a times divide, and when the question is about times divide, you can simplify them easily, which is cut it off. Okay, you can refer to the second second video on this thing. Then for this case, the so-called moderate one, there is a few things that we have to memorize. Okay, so for this case, I noticed that moderate question, there is how many terms? Four terms. Okay, see one xm, second one minus 4m, the third one plus xn, and the fourth one minus 4n. So the four terms over here, in order to factorize it, easily there is a few common mistake that i see student did okay so now i will clarify everything using this video and four terms in order to apply moderate factorize we have to first cut it off apply easy factorization over here where m repeats you pull the m x minus four put it inside and common mistake comes in student will tends to say that hey do we do another easy factorize here it looks yes, but too bad, no. You have to copy and paste. Why am I showing you this copy and paste? Because if let's say this is x minus four, and you write here x plus four, then too bad, the whole thing got wrong. Okay, gone wrong already. So now once you copy paste, and the next thing we have to do is to match. We have to match number one, the terms, number two, the symbol. Okay, so let's match. X becomes xn, you have to put n, right? 4 becomes 4n. You have to put n as well. So correct. Next, your symbol. And as you can see, in order to change the xn into a plus xn, or, or, or you can say 4n into a minus 4n, what you have to apply here? My answer is a plus. Let's check. Plus n and x, correct. Plus n and minus 4, correct. So now, once you get this one, too bad, it's not your final answer yet. In order to get your final answer, the leftover outside becomes the first bracket and the repeat one becomes the next one. And this is your answer, which is two marks. And please keep this in mind, very important. I mean, as in the whole sequence, the whole, uh, I mean, as in how you work it out. Okay, that's how we do it. Okay, why not we try one more time? Okay, ax squared plus ax minus 3a minus 3x. Again, four terms. And again, the steps work this way where you have to cut it off. Next. Apply easy factorize a square plus ax repeated on a. You left a plus x, copy and paste. Can you see that? Because some of you might say, hey, if I apply easy factorize, it becomes an a minus x, right? So that's the point where I say you have to copy and paste. If you write a minus x here, wrong. So once you are done with copy and paste, what you have to do, I mean, as in what you have to put outside so that it becomes the, the, the same term. 3a, 3x, can you see that? And what you have to label here, as in symbol-wise, so that it becomes a minus 3a and minus 3x. The answer is not plus, of course, because if you put plus here, everything becomes plus. You have to put a minus. And once you put it, the first one, done. Okay, then the next one, a plus x, a plus x, put it outside, and done. That's your answer, two marks.